We live in an age where video games are constantly releasing left, right and centre. As a result of this, it is impossible to play everything. But some games that do manage to slip through the cracks really shouldn't. And that's why I've decided to tell you about 5 games you absolutely need to play if you somehow haven't already. I played Death's Door last year and I can't think of many games that I enjoyed more last year than this. The overall structure is reminiscent of old school Zelda games, but it's just so goddamn fun. The art style is gorgeous and suits the game brilliantly. The boss battles are relatively simple but challenging enough to feel rewarding. The combat isn't overly deep but you do get enough abilities over the course of the game to keep things fresh. The story and theme of the game is something that's right up my alley and on top of that there's the uplifting soundtrack. I just really can't recommend this enough. I played Little Nightmares 2 earlier this year and it is exceptional. The first game was great but this sequel improves upon pretty much everything in pretty much every way. The world building is top notch, you really feel so small in this world filled with gigantic horrors around every turn. Each level brings with it its own unique gimmick and location to provide plenty of variety to the gameplay. The lighting and sound design is impeccable and the ending is impactful. Little Nightmares 2 manages to tell a brilliant, well-rounded story without a single line of dialogue and it is a must play for basically everybody. The Forgotten City is a game that I absolutely fell in love with. I got all the endings in the space of like two days as I just couldn't put the thing down. The game is essentially a combination of side quests that interlink with one another to drip feed you information as you go along, as you try to figure out the purpose of the time loop and solve the mystery. The gameplay is rather limited but this is a narrative game first and foremost, and if you have any affinity towards story based games, there's absolutely no excuse for not picking this up and giving it a try. Kena was a game I was very excited to try but since its release I haven't seen all too much discourse around it at all. Which is a shame, because this game is magnificent. Kena is a game that manages to provide one of the most satisfying difficulty curves I've ever experienced in a game. The game demands mastery of its mechanics, but does so at a measured pace so that you never feel overwhelmed or stuck. The satisfaction you feel as everything finally clicks into place is unrivaled. All of this, whilst looking as downright gorgeous as this game does, means that Kena is a goddamn good time, no matter what type of games you enjoy. Spiritfarer is one of my favourite games of all time, which is kinda crazy, as the moment to moment gameplay loop isn't something that would usually appeal to me. The core structure could lazily be described as Stardew Valley on a boat. You travel from island to island, completing quests and acquiring materials to upgrade your ship. But what elevates this game into greatness is its story and themes. No game has ever presented the effects of grief as accurately as this does, while simultaneously providing you with the ideology needed to battle through it. You will help lost spirits pass through to the afterlife. That's your job as the spirit fairer. If you have ever experienced grief in any form, then this game will hit a lot harder for you and is an absolute must to play. Few games have ever had the impact on me that Spirit Spiritfarer did, and I cannot tell you enough how much you need to play it. So those are 5 underrated games that I feel you need to play. What underrated games do you think that everyone should play? Please let me know in the comments so I can give them a go, but for now that's all from me. If you enjoyed the video then please consider leaving a like as that would help me out greatly and if you want to see more videos from me then you could always consider subscribing. But that's all, have a nice day and goodbye.